hey everyone. So every single day on my walk to work, I have to walk past a sex shop. Um, and the problem with walking past a sex shop is like if you look in the windows and everyone's like, oh my god, what a pervert that girl is looking in the windows of a sex shop. But then if you like purposely walk like this um, beside the sex shop without looking in it, then everyone out on the street is like, Oh my god, that girl is such a prude, she won't even look into the windows of a sex shop. And, like, you don't want to be amazing and have this right, like, balance, or, like, the perfect balance, because then everyone is like, Oh my god, that girl is so good at walking past sex shops, she probably searches them out just to practice walking past them. So it's really hard to get, like, the perfect balance of, like, don't look in the window, but don't not look in the window, but don't be too good at doing either. And so that's what I've been practicing. Um, the poem that I'm going to read today is about, um, it's about that sex shop. Which is kind of a problem because tomorrow's my last day at my job. And I just had like the best time at my job that I worked at. So I wanted to sh send out this Thursday poem to the people at my work. However, now it's a poem about a sex shop because I'm an idiot and that's what I wrote about. Um, so this poem is not dedicated to them. The Monday poem maybe will be for Megan and Sharon. Um, if it's good and PC and PG and, um, all the other PZZQ ones. Um, so this poem is just, uh, for myself. <laughs> it's not for myself. No, whoa. Um, it's just a poem that I'm going to read called Residue. Residue. The salt-stained streets were snowless, angels escaping from mouths gaping, too cold to close, and the plastic women in the sex shop window seemed so sad and unsexy in their scant nighties, holding hands with penises shaped like candy canes stuck in their mouths, the lonesome residue of Christmas cheer on a January morning. The girls were thirsty in there, sucking on peppermint dicks all day, Blind eyes grasping at humans passing on the other side of the glass. Once they saw an old woman with a small man on her back, and another time there was Santa, staring from across the street with his hands down his pants. But now it is January, and they are watching commuters stamp off the cold. They wait patiently for the penises to be pulled from their mouths, and their plastic limbs to be repositioned into some new pose of madness. So that was the poem residue um, for absolutely no one. Thank you for watching.